All right. Hello, beautiful people. I hope you're doing well. Sending you so much love. Happy Sunday. Or by the time I'm recording this, it's a Sunday. Okay. Uh, I was getting ready to do the other readings, but he pushed me to, um, I have two uh, messages that I have to deliver today. And this is the first message. Okay. So this is where your strength come from. Uh, he keeps saying no shame in this. Okay. So he's saying that to be honest, I think feel good wrote this uh, quote the other day and I was like, wow, that's really true. It's like when you're honest, you don't have to worry about anything really. And also it's like it keeps your heart pure and clean. So that's really, really true. OK, so he said honesty keeps your heart clean and no BS. OK, so a lot of you. Um, um, the strength that comes from not only is because you're, you know, you're keeping your heart pure and you're keeping, uh, you know, good things like, you know, we all make mistakes. We're not perfect. Okay. But what he's saying is that trying to uh, remain in a space where you can be honest, like maybe I could be speaking with a couple of people that need to be delivered from like lying, um, you know doing stuff to people being sneaky and stuff like that thinking you're not gonna get caught you know maybe stealing you know or i don't know it's something about honesty that he keeps saying that um this is a message for someone okay or some of you've been praying about this like you've been praying like i don't want to be uh, a liar or something like that because that's the thing too it's like when you're in that energy you attract that okay because you attract who you are right so a lot of you if you feel like a lot of you also too like when you stand in that energy that frequency of honesty true clarity and justice okay because that is justice because we live in a world where it's all about lies right it's all about you know faking and unauthentic and stuff like that so now you're starting to notice that when you're in that energy a lot of people just scatter right <laughs> you feel a little bit like whoa what's happening it's actually for your highest good when that happens okay that make that as a blessing in disguise and another thing i want to keep uh, clear you're not alone okay you have your angels you have your ancestors you have god jesus and the holy spirit okay that's three in one i know there's a song about that okay okay so the other thing that he was saying he gave me a scripture for you guys okay so he said um this is also for people also dealing with like anxiety um some type of depression and stuff like that like he wants you guys um especially because maybe in the past this is something that you you were used to or maybe you were taught to do this like being dishonest you know maybe not loyal you know and you know and now you want to be loyal you want to be faithful and you and that's okay it's a process all right that nobody's judging anybody here this is what he said no shame and if you have this type of shame guilt and and, and resentment uh, even to you even to your own self or maybe to other people uh especially those who are in the receiving end right like you have people that were not honest with you you were surrounded by a bunch of liars and a bunch of people who were not honest with you and like um that's another thing it's like a lot of people like god is telling you where this strength is coming from to overcome this energy where this healing coming from as well okay and it goes for both sides all right but the scripture that he wanted me to give you it says you will keep um it's as isaiah 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 i can't even say isaiah 26 to the three and it reads you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you all whose thoughts are fixed on you okay so the scripture is basically saying like he the more you surrender to him the more you give to him the more he gives you back peace okay he's giving you peace especially because you trust in him you have faith in him and that's all he needs okay see uh faith is as small as a master seed that's all he needs okay but one thing that he's also trying to remind you is that to know about when you build a relationship with God, he will also teach you about, you know, the mastery of not only detaching, but also understanding both energies, right? The people projecting and then other people like you're feeling other people's energies, right? So and especially those who are thinking about you, a lot of you, you have people that were dishonest they weren't loyal um and now they're constantly thinking about you they have this fixation a lot of you some of you you have this up someone like obsessed with you okay it could be someone that is attached to someone or or someone that um you know someone like a lot of you if you're a truth teller this is like your normal energy like there's a lot of people who you uncover the truth all the secrets and the lies that they're doing to other people or maybe even to yourself and this got them some type of way these are people who don't want to change who don't see anything wrong with them these are people who are constantly just very low vibration and water away when you stick to around with 
the honesty energy it's like it's just the energy like they repels them okay so it's not like they can't be in the same vibration as you like they can't even be in your own vicinity either way your angels and ancestors will not allow it see how the my incense like the smoke it's coming towards me or coming to you guys so this is an important message okay so you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you so that too is like when you're honest as well you know that people can like trust you you know so you are trustworthy so this is for someone like maybe someone um be someone lost their trust on someone and they want to gain that back like start being honest with yourself you know and be honest with other people like tell them like hey i made a mistake and this like we all make mistakes you know but take accountability and responsibility that shows humility that shows that you can be trusted again okay for some of y'all like you need to work on this if it's something that you have you're lacking off and god is giving you some of you a chance about this okay so that too remember that a lot of people when you're in this energy um you bring a lot of peace to other people and also that too is like when people can trust you and you can trust another person there's already that not only that reciprocity but also there's a peace that surrounds that you know and that's what god also protects right and also that too it maintains you or whoever is around you your heart clean and peace so having honesty between each other and like no lying deceiving or sneaky energy being truthful with other people it actually saves you a lot of like a lot of issues a lot of drama okay and also you get rid of the shackles of being addicted to toxicity and drama do you understand and now if other people are in that energy and they're not changing move on that's why the energy that i'm hearing is move on let them go okay because that is not a healthy um thing for you to be around okay and that disturbs your peace and even god himself is trying to let you guys know that it's time to when someone is not changing their behavior is doing the exact same thing it's just very toxic okay and it's not good for your peace and also it just it blocks energy that um and blocks space that it could for other people that actually are trustworthy and non-toxic that can come into your life okay so all whose thoughts are fixed on you as well so even the people that could be in a long distance energy or something like that when they think of you they think of you as uh, someone with integrity someone with honesty especially if they have met you but then you went your separate ways people have good energy uh towards you they 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 like it's something like an impression it's like your energy leaves an impression on other people um you know good energy right so that's why when anybody talks bad about you or trying to slander you or trying to you know uh how do you call it? defamation of character stuff like that they can't because those people have actually experienced the true you the real authentic you and that's why you know a lot of you staying in your honesty and trustworthy and your integrity it actually protects you as well okay and and also you know um yeah, it just keeps that energy away from you, okay? So it says also, he says, when worry starts to overwhelm you, imagine lifting up your eyes and seeing Jesus standing over you, okay? So imagine Jesus, the universe, whoever you want to believe, because a lot of people feel some type of way. But if you do, make sure that you're repenting or, or you know what I'm saying? Because Jesus is our savior, okay? Um, at least in this channel and this energy that I'm at, that's my master that's my teacher and um if you have a problem or an issue with that you can move on with your life you don't have to watch okay hmm. now it says jesus standing over you okay and that's what i do most of the time whenever i'm overwhelmed i'm going through spiritual warfare when i'm going through like i just like when i'm meditating and i'm praying i'm like i just picture him like around you know and i just like it's kind of like you're manifesting him you know and you kind of call you're summoning him right and even though sometimes he says he's it's kind of like a magician sometimes he says that like i feel like a magician because <laughs> he's really funny too you know um but he can be in multiple places as well at once this is why the enemy hates jesus because he's able to do that the enemy what it does it creates karmic loops for other people to stay in that karmic cycle so that they can move on and do it for other people so usually you guys have the power to break the karma cycle so you're not attached to this energy so it doesn't keep controlling you and manipulating you and that's what jesus is trying to help you guys break those shackles so that you can be free so that you don't have to be like that's why he died for us you know what i'm saying he over that's my other message that i'm going to talk about in the second message okay uh be a light in the darkness okay now uh he says nothing is too hard for him to handle okay give it to him so whenever you're feeling anxious, depressed, overwhelmed, things are not working out, 
you're having financial struggle struggles and stuff like that like i know it's easier said than done but you have to give it to him you have to surrender to him okay and that's what he's trying to let you know that he will in exchange when you give this you believe in him okay you know that he's our savior you believe and have faith that he's not only coming back but also that you know he did all the sacrifice that he did for us to forgive our sin because we're not perfect we're very sinful right um th this is how most of us is is how we are saved and also how we build a relationship with him but also that too is like when you give it to him he gives you back peace joy um um, he strengthens your faith. Uh, he cleans your heart. There's a lot of things that Jesus does for us that are happening in the background as well. So that too, when you're honest and have integrity, this is easier for him to work on you. Because the enemy is the liar, confusion is here to hear, kill, and destroy, right? So when you are in that energy, you are part of the other side. So this is why, like, Jesus loves to work people who are bro heartbroken and, you know, and feeling some type of way but you have to accept him it's the same thing with like i mean it's not the same thing but angels is the same thing like when you want angels to help you you have to they have to, you have to give them permission you have to you know what i'm saying like oh, okay angels you can help me out because they can help you they can watch you they can try to protect you but they can't there's a certain extent that they can't uh because it's free will you have free will right okay so that's what I have for you. This is the message, okay? I love you. I hope this helps someone. Stay in your authentic self. Be honest, okay? Continue, uh, you know, letting go and like God, okay? I'll see you in the next message.